yes guys question number second they are doing in case of intrinsic equations okay in case of intrinsic equations as i have told you that there is a relationship between s and psi psi is the angle made by a tangent at the at the point p on the curve okay with a fixed line and that fixed line is generally parallel to the uh, tangent at initial point a okay so initial point a for example this is the initial point a at this point if i draw tangent then the tangent and this point the psi angle is made by a p okay this is the second point p okay so uh, the point or the line which makes a uh, psi angle with the fixed line okay or tangent line at p so we are drawing a tangent line at p point and that makes an angle psi suppose this is the psi angle in this case this is a parabola equation second we have done all the things now we want to find, uh, find out the relationship between psi angle and the length s of an arc of the curve so here curve is the parabola we have to find out this length up to this point this is s here the angle theta at the initial point at the vertex of the parabola is theta equal to zero and at this point theta is minus pi by two okay minus pi by two why because b uh, okay if we count this in the anti-clockwise direction then this is minus pi by two so at one of the uh, extremity of the latest uh, okay let's select them this is the latest rectum okay and one of the extremity this and this this is one of the extremity this is one of the activity at one of the extremity means at this theta is minus pi by two so theta values of theta are to be converted into value of psi that we will do because we have to convert theta finally into psi and s is first defined into terms of theta and theta is converted into angle psi and then relationship is obtained that is the proper way of finding out the relationship now so i was doing this i found that what is phi you know that 10 phi 10 phi is r d theta upon dr we calculated d r d theta is a second square 1.2 theta then 1.2 theta this is second equation we have taken why what is r is a second square second square 1.2 theta okay this is the first equation i have taken i mean this value of r from this one given curve we have converted this into a second square this is the formula because r is 2a upon r is equal to 2a upon 1 plus cos theta this i calculated and equal to a into second square so this this is the a value of r then we found out dr d upon d theta and dr upon d theta is a second square 1.2 theta into 10 1.2 theta from this after differentiation second equation is this then we know that 10 phi we calculated is equal to r into d theta upon dr now d theta upon dr is just reverse of this but so this is dr d theta and d theta upon dr we can just uh, write r upon dr upon d theta so dr upon d theta is in the denominator this is the value a second square 1.2 theta 10 1.2 theta and in the numerator it is the value of r r upon dr upon d theta so this gives us cot because this is 1.10 1.2 theta is left over that means 1.10 is cot this is cot 1.2 theta a cot can be converted into 10 like this this is 10 pi by 2 minus theta that is cot theta in first quadrant so this is 10 pi by 2 minus theta and okay so this is converted into 10 so 10 equal to 10 10 phi equal to 10 pi by 2 minus 1.2 theta therefore phi is equal to pi by 2 minus 1.2 theta now we know that psi equal to theta plus phi substituting this, this value of phi here this is pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus theta by 2 plus theta is this so theta minus pi by 2 is half theta by 2 plus pi by 2 is this okay so <clears throat> pi by 2 so theta by 2 plus pi by 2 is equal to psi there was theta half theta is equal to half theta 1.2 theta is equal to psi minus pi by 2 this is the relationship which we will finally put in case we are able to find the value of s in terms of okay theta and then theta is converted into psi this is what now let me find ds upon d theta this ds upon d theta is under root r square plus dr upon d theta whole square this we know what 
for this we have substituted r square is r square means r is a sec square half theta that means a square is a square sec 4 1 point two theta plus a this is value of drd theta whole square this whole square this is a square sec 4 1 point two theta 10 square 1 point two theta we have taken a a square sec 4 1 point two theta common out of the square root it will come out as a into sec square 1.2 theta and the root 1 plus 10 square 1.2 theta is equal to this is sec square theta half and sec square angle half theta and out of this square root because this is equal to sec square half theta okay sec square half theta under the square root so square root is cancelled out to so sec 1 sec power of 4 sec is 1 here that 1 and this square will be a sec cube theta a sec 1.2 a sec q 1.2 theta okay now substitute the value of 1.2 theta which is psi minus pi by 2 if i put psi pi by 2 minus psi no problem because here sec is even even function so negative sign doesn't matter we have first substituted psi minus pi by 2 in place of half theta in sec so sec q we know sec uh, pi by 2 minus theta is cosec theta so this is cosec theta sec a sec q pi by 2 minus psi equal to a cosec q psi so this is a cosec okay a cosec q psi this is the value of ds upon d theta but we know that d now we find out what is from this equation if i found d psi upon d theta from this third equation to d psi upon d theta differentiating this equation with respect to theta we get this is zero but tens this d psi upon d theta equal to 1.2 because theta is one d psi upon d theta is 1.2 this is from third equation this one okay so d psi upon d theta but we know that d s upon d psi d s upon d psi <coughs> from this equation so here we, we were having ds upon d theta which was in terms of psi angle so this is to be okay written down as ds upon d psi we have to find out this is ds upon d psi is ds upon d theta into d theta upon d psi we can write like this or we can write this as ds upon d theta upon d psi upon d theta same thing so this is equal to ds upon d theta we have substituted which is a cosec q psi a cos q psi into d theta upon d psi here it is d psi upon d theta is 2 sorry is 1.2 d psi upon d theta is 1.2 therefore reverse of this d theta upon d psi is 2 so we substitute here 2 because d theta upon d psi is 2 so twice a into cos q psi that can be written as 2a upon sin q psi this is one of the relationship here Okay, so this let me write fourth we are in this is fifth equation now this ds upon d psi because with respect to psi we have to find out the length so let me write now further from this equation the length we have to find out now we have to prove that d psi oh sorry ds the length of the arc in relation in relation with intrinsic equation we have to find out so we have just calculated the ds upon d psi is equal to twice a this one twice a into cosec q psi i have taken uh, in the denominator it was for so this is the 2a cosec q psi this equation or this is ds equal to twice a into cosec q psi into d psi therefore integrating this this implies that s is going to sign of integral now limit what are the limits here if i put theta equal to 0 in this equation theta is 0 so psi equal to pi by 2 so at theta equal to pi by theta equal to 0 psi equal to pi by 2 this is psi angle psi equal to pi by 2 but when we substitute theta at minus pi by 2 this is minus pi by 4 minus pi by 4 here or psi if I put here this minus pi by 4 so psi equal to this is minus pi by 4 plus pi by 2 it will give us pi by 4 
Why? Because minus pi by 4 plus pi by 2. If I take 4 as here, it will be 2 pi minus pi upon 4, that means pi by 4. So this upper limit is pi by 4. At theta equal to minus pi 2, means upper limit is giving us psi equal to, here psi equal to minus pi by 4 plus pi by 2. So this gives us pi by 4. So limits in this case are pi by 2 to pi by 4. Now let me write next thing. Let me find out now within this limit the equation here. So this twice a cos q theta. Let me write here. So twice a cos q psi into t psi. This we have to integrate within these limits because psi is pi by 2 to pi by 4. Try to understand these limits simple. We find out here 1 point 2 theta is equal to psi minus pi by 2. Okay. In this equation, if I put theta 0, so psi at theta equal to 0, psi equal to pi by 2 simple. Lower limit is at theta 0, psi equal to pi by 2, lower limit. And uh, at theta equal to minus pi by 4, sorry, pi by 2, I'm sorry. This is minus pi by 2 upper limit. At theta equal to minus pi by 2, psi here, it is 1.2 into minus pi by 2. Okay, is equal to psi minus pi by 2. Take this minus pi by 2 to this side. It will be pi by 2 positive minus pi by 4 equal to psi. Here 4 is LCM. This is 2 pi minus pi is equal to psi or psi equal to pi by 4. So upper limit here is pi by 4 of psi. So we are finding out limits of psi and okay. That is the point to be noted down. Limits are for psi angle because we are integrating with respect to psi. Therefore, as the limits pi by 2 to pi by 4. Now, let me write this as twice a I have taken outside out of sign of integration. This twice a constant. A cosec q psi can be written as cosec psi into cosec square psi into d psi. No change. Now this twice a equal to pi by 2 pi to pi by 4. Cosec psi can be written as 1 plus cot square psi. This cosec psi is the square root of this. We know what from trigonometric identity into cosec square psi d psi. Now put here or putting cot psi is equal to t let me take. Okay, therefore, minus cosec square, differentiating it with respect to 2 here, t, this is d psi is equal to dt. It means cosec square psi d psi equal to minus dt, this negative sign. Therefore, cosec square psi into d psi equal to minus dt from this equation. Now, limits, well, if I put here, this cot psi as pi by 4 then t is 1 upper limit at pi by 4 when t is sorry if psi is pi by 4 t is 1 cot, cot pi by 4 is 1 upper limit is 1 now at pi by 2 at pi sorry at pi by 2 it is 0 why it is 0 because cot cot pi by 2 at the lower limit cot pi by 2 is 0 by cos psi cos pi by 2 upon sin pi by 2. Now sin pi by 2 is 1 okay, but cos pi by 2 is 1. So cos pi by 2 upon sin pi by 2 cot psi means. So therefore it is 0 upon 1 is 0. So limits are or let me write here. Let me write here. So at limit we are finding out the limits. When cot psi we have taken t okay so here limits at psi equal to pi by 4 t equal to 1 because cot cot pi by 4 is 1 at psi equal to pi by 2 cot pi by 2 is equal to t cot pi by 2 is 0 so 0 equal to t so no limits are now therefore s equal to 0 to 1, this is minus sign here. Why? This is minus dt. 
So under root 1 plus t square into dt. Negative sign I have taken outside. Okay. Now this can be integrated easily. What is integral function? Now let me find the integration of this. So this integration is minus sign out of the bracket. This is 1.2 into p here under root 1 plus t square same plus 1.2 into a square a square is 1 here into 1 into log of t plus under root 1 plus t square okay this is integration of this now limits are 0 to 1 this is with minus sign here so what we see here at 1 it is 1 plus 1 it will give us sorry 2a was coming here I'm sorry there was 2a also so s equal to 2a with minus sign this is twice a this is minus twice a if I take 1.2 out it will be 2 out at 1 the upper limit it is uh, 1.2 sorry only 1 because 1.2 are taken common it will be only under root 1 plus 1, 1 square is 1, 2, plus this is log 1 plus under root 2. Then at lower limit, when 0 is there, it is 0 because complete value is 0, it will give us 0. So this is because 0 into something 0. Now here it is 0, 0, okay, at lower limit. So it will be. Is it A here? Okay, so this is A square. So what is the answer we have to find out? Okay, under root 2, log 1 plus root 2. Yeah, this is the same answer. So log 1, that should be 0. Minus sign because this is 0. This is log 1. This 0, 0. 1 plus 1 is log 2. It is log 2 here. It's coming log 2 here. So minus log 2. Because at 0, if I find out this 0, so this is 0. Sorry, this is 1 here. I'm sorry. Log 1 is 0. I'm sorry. It is 0 here. Because log 1, this is 0. T0, lower limit 0. So this is 1 only. Log 1 is 0. Since log 1 is 0, so this is 0 here. What we get to, to cancel out, it is A only, but this magnitude we have to find out. This is A with bracket under root 2 plus log of 1 plus root 2. So this is magnitude of the length S. Length of the arc is this magnitude. Magnitude of the length of the arc length of the arc here. Otherwise sign was negative here. This negative sign was coming because because of minus dt. No problem. But 0 to 1 limits we substituted finally. That is giving us negative length but this is magnitude is positive. So length is always positive. So this we have taken. The same thing is obtained. A into under root 2 plus log of 1 plus root 2. This we have to prove. It's uh, okay. From the parabola, this reduced that length of the arc intercepted length of the arc. This intercepted by the uh, intercepted by by an extremity, okay, by between the vertex and the extremity of the latest rectum is this. So latest rectum this intercepted at one of the extremity of latest rectum and the vertex. This length is that. So this is the length. Same answer is obtained. Hence proved. So, hence root. This is question number second. Question number two, I mean. Second question we have done. Now it is 100% true. Same answer is obtained. This was a lengthy one. I have taken this more time. I am sorry. But the question was very lengthy. Because of that, this has taken more time. No problem. Let us take next question. Question number three now. 
Now question number three. Let me check what does it say. Okay, so question number three. It says show that the intrinsic equation of the semi-angular spiral r equal to a e m theta when the arc is measured from a is zero. Now here a is because this is a polar equation r equal to a e m theta. So when polar equation is given, then the point is in r theta. Theta is zero, r is a. Okay, radius vector a. R is A and, uh, and the vectorial angle theta is 0. From this point 0 to let me take one uh, unknown point theta, there theta is theta. Okay, so from 0 to theta, we will take the limits here at the point. So that the intrinsic equation of the semi angular spiral, let me write question third. The curve is semi angular. Curve semi angular. Semi angular spiral. This is semi angular spiral. Okay. Semi angular spiral. This is R is going to A into E M theta. This is the R equal to A E M theta. When R is measured from A0 is S equal to this. This we have to prove here where beta is tan inverse 1 upon M. Okay. This is given here to prove to prove here that S is equal to A under root 1 plus M square. Okay. Within bracket it is E raised power M psi minus beta minus 1. Where beta is equal to where beta is equal to 10 inverse 1 upon m try to understand this is the answer we have to obtain s length of the arc is a under root 1 plus m square into e raised power m psi minus beta it means theta is changed into psi minus beta this is intrinsic equation here intrinsic equation is the relation between s and psi the angle made by the tangent with the fixed line so this is psi angle it means this is the intrinsic equation. This intrinsic equation we have to prove. Okay, so now and here beta, this is theta is changed into psi minus beta. That means here beta is tan inverse one point nine. That we have to prove. Okay, and spiral. This this is the spiral uh, semi angular spiral where r is equal to this. And arc is measured from a zero to okay a zero. A zero means initial point is a zero. That means theta equal to zero. This is R and theta. So theta is 0 here. So let me take the solution. Let me prove that the intrinsic equation is this. Now here, the intrinsic equation is R equal to A E M theta. Therefore, D R D theta. Therefore, differentiating it with this is first equation. Differentiating it with respect to theta. So we get dr d theta is equal to a into m into e raised power m theta. Simple. This is the value of dr d theta. All right. So we can write it as a into. Okay. Let me write like this. Otherwise, we can write a e m theta a m theta. This is equal to m into r. This is equal to m into r because r is equal to a into e m theta. So dr d theta is m upon m into r. Sorry. Okay. Therefore, d s d theta whole square. Dr d theta is equal to this. Or we know that d s upon d theta is equal to r square plus dr d theta whole square. This is going to R square plus or we could write like that R, R is equal to E plus M theta but here we have to take S equal to under root 1 plus M square let me take that this is R square and dr d theta is this M R square so this is M square R square equal to R square into 1 plus M square that means ds upon d theta ds upon d theta is equal to square root of 
R square into 1 plus M square. This is equal to under root 1 plus M square into R. So R is nothing but e raised power a into e raised power m theta under root 1 plus m square. Okay, so this is what we have obtained. Now let me find out what is therefore s is equal to. First we will find out s finally and limits here are 0 to theta let me tell you. Because initial point is uh, 0, a 0 that means r is equal to a and theta equal to 0. So 0 is the initial point, 0 to theta let me take and the point so at theta. This is just general point. And is this value? This is r, this is ds upon d theta. That means this is ds upon d theta into d theta. ds upon d theta is this value we have taken out. We can write it as 0 to theta. Okay, and ds upon d theta is a into e to the power m theta under root 1 plus m square into d theta. This is the value here. Now, okay, if I integrate this with respect to this m theta, then we will substitute the value finally. So this is, okay, let me first find out. Finally, we will substitute theta in terms of psi, that is the last point. But before that, let me integrate this. This integration give give to us as let me write here. Okay, so therefore s is equal to or this implies that s is equal to this value 0 to theta. Okay, and ds upon d theta we have written down this is a into e raised to power m theta under root 1 plus m square into d theta. Let me take common a under root 1 plus m square which is constant out of sign of integration 0 to in, zero to theta here this is e raised power now m theta into d theta we can integrate this with respect to theta at the moment so what it will give us let me write here so it will give us a under root 1 plus m square a square root of 1 plus m square now this e m theta is e raised power m theta upon m integration 0 to theta. So it will give us, now this m can be taken outside. Is m coming out of the bracket? Yeah, that is upon m. Okay, all right. This is equal to a under root 1 plus m square divided by m within a bracket. Now e raised power m theta, if I put theta, so this is e raised power m theta, same value, minus sign, lower limit is 0, e raised power 0 is 1, this is 1 here. Now, this result is obtained, but here theta is again replaced. Now let me find the relationship between psi angle and theta, then theta can be substituted. So here we have obtained finally, now let me write this result here, this is a under root 1 plus m square upon m within bracket e raised power m theta minus 1. Okay, in this, now we have to find out that what is the value of theta and psi, or value of psi in terms of theta or whatever. Okay, now we know that, okay, now we know that what is that? 10 phi is equal to r into d theta upon dr. This we know about. And here let me take this is r. d theta upon dr, we found out it was okay. This was a into uh, sorry m into r. It was m into r. This is nothing but upon because this is dr upon d theta or r upon dr upon d theta this is r upon a m into r so why because here if i find dr d theta as dr d theta is equal to a into m into e raised power m theta or this is m if i take outside this is m into r why m is out a e m theta is r so this is m r dr upon d theta 
this is dr upon d theta so r upon dr upon d theta is r upon this so r r cancel out this is one upon m here now if i take let 10 phi is equal to 1 upon m let me take this is 10 beta here that means phi is equal to beta phi is equal to beta in this relationship where beta is equal to if i write beta so beta is equal to 10 inverse 1 upon n try to understand so what is psi we know the psi angle is equal to theta plus phi but phi is 10 inverse this is theta is equal to theta plus 10 inverse or this is beta here let me first write phi is equal to beta so this is nothing but beta here let me write okay so psi equal to theta plus beta or theta is equal to psi minus beta so in place of theta if i substitute here psi minus beta this so it will give us the same value therefore s is equal to a under root 1 plus m square okay divided by m or divided by whole m this is upon m within bracket it is e raised power m into theta is psi minus beta minus 1 this is the same result which we have obtained here this is a under root 1 plus m this is upon m here this is upon m is also there a under root 1 plus m square within bracket e raised power m psi minus beta minus 1 upon n where beta is tan inverse 1 upon m that is beta is tan inverse 1 upon m which we have to be so hence it is proved this is the answer finally hence proved okay so this is the question number three question number three we have done our third question finally is complete so this is this we have to prove we have proved it now next question four <coughs> question number four let me check what does it say now we have question number four is of what kind okay question four says okay this is question number four it says that show that in a parabola 2a upon r so question number four is in a parabola